that car? That was a cool car. Wasn't that one of those wing doors? Yeah, it was a gull wing. Well, it came on set, I think, in about the third year. Because up to then, I think it was Chevy. So everything was a Chevrolet on the show because they were our sponsors. Um, and it was the most uncomfortable car to get into, to get out of. You couldn't really, you, you know, you couldn't make it look slick. And Robert and I tried it for about a week, and then we said, you know, this is not going to work. And they said, well, this is, we're going to manufacture this, it's going to be a toy, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So we would drive into the shot, and we'd come down the hill, long take, coming up to the camera, and one of the doors would open by mistake. So they'd cut and have to do it all again. And those sort of accidents happen quite often. I won't say who was responsible, but the car left the matter. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight we're going to do another kit review. This time it's going to be of Polar Lights AMT's new Piranha Super Spy Car. Well, not really new, it's just a re-release of the old kit. Um, but, you know, it's kind of cool. We haven't seen this kit for, wow, from what I understand, 20, 30 years since it was last released. I'm no expert in the kit itself, don't get me wrong, but I did get my hands on this new one, so I decided I'd share it with you guys. This way, should you choose to, you can make an informed decision later on down the road of whether you'd like to buy this kit or not. So, let's take a look, okay? Again, it's been about 30 years since it's been released. Um, from what I understand, it is not a new tool kit. It is just a re-release of the original kit. And from what I, again, what I understand is the original kit wasn't that good. Um, but currently, now you go on eBay or any other of the auction sites trying to find the original one, and they're going for sixty, eighty, hundred dollars for this kit. Um, now. With it re-released, even though it's an old tool, um, you can get it for close to thirty bucks, um, which not that bad of a deal. And not for nothing, I'd hate to go out and buy a kit, no matter what kit it is that I want, spend lots of money for it, and find out that it's just not up to par. So I'm glad to see it's been re-released. Um, from what I do understand also is that there are a couple pieces that have been retooled. Okay, uh, the window and the taillight parts um, are supposed to be uh, super detailed now. Um, there's some other goodies in here that I don't believe that were involved in the uh, original kit. Um, I think the motor's a little bit more detailed in the Sozi interior, but I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, orig uh, it's the original tool with a couple new pieces um, that have been redesigned. Um, very, very cool looking car. Function-wise, as you saw in the video prior to this, it's not wasn't very functional. Uh, then again, we expect it was built on a Corvair. So let's take a look at the box here real quick. Okay, you've got a, a very uh, different box than we're used to. Usually we got the uh, thick square uh, rectangular boxes. This one's thin, a little bigger, measures almost 13 inches across, 9 inches wide, and it's got a nice painting of the model itself on the cover. Okay, very simplistic. They're not, they're no longer calling it the Man from Uncle Car either. I believe that was the original, um, part of the original design of the box. Now it's just the Super Spy Car. Um, we flip it over to the side. It gives us a little little information here. Um, you know, some of the features. It's got gullwing doors. It's got concealed rockets. It's got a supply arsenal, which looks like a fold-out type tray, which is supposed to have the guns of the uh, spies on it. Okay, we won't say man from uncle because they omitted that but still okay we've got a gun rack we've got parachute 
and we've got some uh, dual long-range flamethrowers here and we got some really neat custom wheels also okay <clears throat> this side we've got another another angle of the car this side here shows us a picture of the the one-to-one -one car um, the decals that are included in the kit and a couple of the uh, the things you'll find in here we've got uh, pad printed tires we've got a full color booklet in here about the car um, we've got an AMT speed and custom sticker and we've got the original art print suitable for framing yay huzzah this side is just like the other side the back of the box gives us a breakdown a shadow breakdown of all the parts that are involved in the kit okay so let's take a look and let's see what we got inside the box okay so here we go inside our box all right all right so the inside of the box has been compartmentalized here two sides okay you've got parts on this side parts on that side um, two different color part trees okay you've got this um, bluish gray type plastic for the main parts and then we've got a chrome tree uh, we've also got some clear parts in here uh, we've got one two three four five six six seven eight nine sprue trees of parts um, I'm not sure what the actual count of the part count of the kit is at this point in time but um, doesn't look like an overabundance like some of the newer kits today but still um, it's got a, a good amount of kits um, the box doesn't say whether what skill level it is I'm assuming this is going to be probably a two or a three um, the complexity of the kit might move it up because the doors I believe are supposed to the gullwing doors are supposed to open so um, that can make it a little bit more of a difficult build but alright let's start take a look at some of the parts here we'll start with the chrome tree since it's right here alright <clears throat> let's see let's set this up so you can see uninhibited here alright here we go alright so we got our chrome parts tree a lot of engine parts on here I can't tell you what all the parts are because I really haven't gone through it yet but uh, right off the cuff I see a lot of engine parts okay very chromed all right Yeah, most of this is all engine parts. You got your valve covers here. Some springs for the suspension. Oops, sorry. I'm not sure what this is here. You've got the wheels. Okay. Uh, you got a spoiler here. You've got your disc brakes. Not sure about some of this other stuff. Looks like a stick shift here vent cover of some kind again I'm sure all these will come into uh, be very clear later but right now I'm not really sure what they are um, the other parts here we've got the doors the gullwing doors okay one thing I've noticed already is there is a lot of flash on these parts um, not specifically these offhand but they are going to require some um, cleanup okay of course a little effort will go a long way but they are covered in pla uh, uh, flash you can see some in here there's some the plastic isn't very brittle it's actually kinda soft in some ways We 
we've got our seats okay our steering wheel here's that um, gun compartment we saw in the box okay get a good look at that I'm not sure this is some sort of uh, probably the the engine the uh, the, the cover for the engine compartment detailed on the inside looks like it's going to open when it's done okay and there, that's probably where that chrome vent was going to go all right your dashboard okay you can see some of the instrumentation here focus yeah TV screens and stuff like that, maybe a radar screen in there. Okay, radio controls and your your gauges here, your tack and speed most likely. <clears throat> here you've got your roof section. Okay. So this area here is gonna go down over your engine compartment. Okay, you got the T section where your gull wing doors are going to go here and here, and then the frame for the windshield. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, these, I believe, are the inside of the doors. You can see the T handles on it to help pull the doors closed. Okay, and some sort of cupboard hatch or something like that this tree's got a lot of small parts a lot of um, sway bars stuff like that <clears throat> these are your your suspension a arms uh, these are for the wheels what else can I identify oh you got your engine halves here okay it's a six cylinder engine You've got your starter there, okay, distributor cap, fan belts, shroud. Looking at these parts, you could tell it's old. I mean, it, it just, it's just something I can't, I, I can't really put my finger on it, but you can, you can tell it's not new. That these have been around for a while. And I'm not talking just about the flash. <laughs> okay, but still. It's been 20 years or so since we've seen this kit, so this is cool. We've got... I'm not sure what this piece is. It was free, flying, free flowing. Alright, now, back out for this. On this sprue, we've got the very bottom of the car. Okay? part of the suspensions hanging out here um, you've got a couple things in here also you've got you can see all the flash in here a lot of flash in here um, the parachute I'm not sure what this panel is probably some sort of fairing of some sort I just don't I can't identify those you know flash here Honestly, it doesn't look like the greatest of plastic. It's got some schmutz on the inside of here. It's not very smooth. Some sort of material got caught in the plastic, it looks like. Very rough. But this is the bottom. Okay. Then we've got the interior. Oops, sorry. The interior bucket here. It includes the interior and the engine bay in it. Okay. you can see all right here's the front half this is the console that goes between the driver you can see inside you've got a floor mat you can see a little texture there for the rug and you can see the pedals okay but there's no detail on any of this in here it's just blank okay the engine compartment you've got some cursory wiring on the sidewalls. That's about it. Alright. 
and then you've got the top of the shell okay come across here again it's got a lot of flash on the sides it's got a lip I never noticed that before it's got a lip but um, you've got some nice etched not etched but recessed panels for the storage compartment the headlights are recessed in there all right it turns out I commented that this part here the console was blank now I can see why because the details actually on this end of the console I'm gonna have to assume that this goes over yeah like such all right, so you got your blank, and then it goes over and mats up. So it gives you, it does give you some detail, and then your shifter is going to go in here. Okay, pretty smooth. Um, don't see any mold lines that's going to have to be worried about. That's good. A couple little swirls in the plastic you could see. A little swirl. All right. Gonna have to clean out the back lights. All kinds of flashy in there. <clears throat> All right. That is the majority of the parts. <clears throat> Next, we've got the clear parts, and I'm not gonna open them right now. But you've got two sets of clear parts. You've got clear clear parts, and you've got smoke's clear parts. Okay, so you can give it a a, uh, you know, which a spy car should be dark. You shouldn't see in it, right? So that's cool. And then you've got the red for the taillights here. Okay. So you have an option of clear or tinted windows. Now this is nice. This, this must be new. Um, I can't believe that the original kit had tires like these, but look at these tires. Hold on. These tires are beautiful. They're pre-painted. Okay, they're they're not very thick, that's for sure. All right. Let's get this to focus. One side, as you can see here, has got a blue blue rim or a blue stripe around it with the Goodyear logo. Very nice. And then this one over here is it doesn't have the name on it but it's got a red uh, the red ring the tires are nicely nicely done almost can't see the seam work on the edges so that's nice so the tires are really really cool okay individual you don't have to cut out the centers you don't have to glue them together you don't have he like I said heavy seams down the center these are just almost ready to go just like that so these are very very cool you've got the instructions okay first first section you've got the engine lots of little parts for the engines or engine okay Next, you got the interior suspension parts to put together, the wheels, a little bit more in interior detail. You've got the paint callouts here, okay? And then the back brings the roof together, the body pans all together, the clamshells all come together. It's a lot of stuff going on for five steps. All right. The decals. The car comes with some decals. We saw that in the box, and here they are. You've got black stripe. You've got this funky colored stripe. That's pretty neat, actually. You got some details here. Some pinstriping. Um, you know, um, what the hell they call it? Um, you know sponsor markers okay you got a piranha coney shocks goodyear tires okay another piranha you got gauges for the um 
decals for the gauges. Let's get a little closer for this. So you can make this a race car. Okay. The decal sheet looks very nice. Everything looks registered. Okay. Not too bad. Alright. You got a decal for yourself. Okay. Whoops. There you go. Nice little AMT decal. Put on your toolbox. And then you've got this right here. This is really neat. This is the book that it talked about. Okay, so you got the Piranha Super Spy car, and it's got a mix of color photos, black and white photos, detailing the history of the car from the building process to the final car, which is also really good for reference. You can see how it's going to go together, what colors you're going to use. Um, as you can see here, um, the plastic for kids. The plastic is pretty much the color of what the original car is. So some kids can paint the, uh, do this and not even have to paint it. But it gives some real nice detail. It shows you where the wood is, the color of the steering wheel, the seats. You know, there's some great reference material here. Different versions. More of the interior. Okay, again, great, great reference material. The engine compartment. Okay, the race version. So I guess you can make it without the roof. It's kind of a neat idea. All right. Your regular round two propaganda stuff, which is crap. Then, underneath it all, if you don't look, see, if you didn't know, you have to look under here. Look, there's something secret under here. I guess it's supposed to be that way. It's a spy car, so it should be a spy box and have hidden compartments. And here we have our printable poster, or excuse me, frameable poster of the car. Pretty neat. Very, very cool. Something nice put on your wall, frame it up, put it in front of the car, and put the model here. It'd be nice. Yeah. So that is the kit. Now again, the idea of doing a review like this is so you guys can take a look and decide if this is what you want. Um, sometimes we get hyped up in, the, in some of the kits that are coming out and they turn out to be a, a letdown. Well now you can make an informed decision. Um, is this a great kit so far? Well, let's put it this way. I've been watching for the Man From Uncle Spy Car for some time now. I've wanted one. And I've gotten to some bidding on them on eBay. The originals. But of course, for me, I'm, I'm I guess you can say, let's put it politically correct, I'm a tight ass. Alright, so I'm not going to spend a lot of money on certain kits. I'm certainly not going to spend a lot of money on a kit that's over 20, 30 years old. That's ill-fitting and gappy and all that kind of stuff it just doesn't make sense so if I was to open this kit after paying eighty ninety dollars for it I'd be disappointed but having paid twenty six dollars for this kit I'm happy with it sure there's gonna probably be some issues I've heard lots of people talk about the issues of the original kit so I'm assuming they're going to be in here since it's original but that's okay because I only paid like 30 bucks for it, so, you know, not too too bad of a deal, I think. I like it. I'm very happy with it so far. It looks very cool. But now, wait, we're not done. Because, not only did we get the kit, but we went out and we got the upgrade kit with it, too. We paid a little bit extra. We got the, the, um the
photo etch. <laughs> photo etch kit for it. So we can bring out some of the details that's soft on. And it also came with a nice set of, para of JT Graphics decals for it. So I'll take a look here at the decals while we're here. Okay. So this is going to give you all your panel detail work. Gauges, buttons, dials, all that kind of stuff is here. With all the wood grain, everything is here. Your choice of different um, license plates, all here. Nice decal sheet. And on the other side, let's take this out. You get this nice photo etch piece. Got the gauges. Again, you got the gauges from which you've got nice raised detail and everything. And these JT graphics. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm not on, on camera here. You've got these panels, all raised detail in them, which are going to look really nice when you take the JT graphics decals and lay them over top. Center them just right, and these are going to look fantastic. Again, we've got the different um, uh, license plates here. There's a lot of parts on here I'm not sure about. I believe these are door parts. Okay. Allow you to detail the doors. You've got... Um, hang on. There you go. Windshield wipers. Gauges. The T-handles for... for opening and closing the doors. I'm not sure what these panels turn into. You've got a, a grill plate here. I believe this goes over the engine compartment. Um, these are for hinges to open and close the doors. You know, some detail grates. These are the pedals. Clutch brake gas. Really nice um, man from uncle design right here. That's pretty cool. Propellers, because I guess it was a, uh, I guess it went in the water, I don't know. But they got propellers. So you got some really neat stuff here. It gives you a really good opportunity to uh, take this car to the next level. So, that is the Man From Uncle kit. You've got the car, you've got the JT Graphics, and you got the Paragraphics Photo Etch. Together... Oh, um, I think I already said it. The kit itself is about $30. I think I got it on sale for $26 because I pre-ordered it. The photo etch and the decals came together in a kit, and they were about another $26. Um, I'm not sure what the... I assume that's about going to be about what the cost is going to be from now on. Maybe a couple bucks more, but um, they look really cool. And it's going to be very interesting to build and put together. Um... So, like I said before, guys, I hope this review helps. Um, I hope it gives you the information you need to arm yourselves to decide whether you want to go out and get yourself this kit or not. Um, again, to buy this kit at the market value prior to it coming out at the you know eBay fees of sixty, eighty, ninety dollars, I don't think it's worth it. But at this cost of just under thirty dollars, I think it's going to be well worth it. Um, and again, these pieces here are going to really take it and put it up over the edge. So um, that's it, guys. That's it for now. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, be strong.